In this video, we're going to be going over some pretty cool tips and tricks on the new TCL Stylus 5G. Stay tuned. Today's video is brought to you by the HipPaw Screen Recorder. This has been one of the easiest experiences as far as setting up a screen recorder for tutorials or live streaming for those gaming creators out there. Now, typically, I tend to use screen recordings for more tutorial use, and they definitely have you covered on that with a slew of awesome templates backgrounds, texts, and even some pretty cool stickers that they provide for you in-house. I've definitely had some troubles in the past using some more complicated screen recorders, so the big pro about this one is that we have one of the easiest processes for screen recording on the market. All you have to do is plug in your camera, open up the HitPaw screen recorder application, load up your game, select the window, and hit record or live stream if that's your thing. And it provides you with some awesome smooth screen recording and ease of use tools. Oh, we got one. We got one. He's right there. <laughs> What's up, bro? Oh, that's not healthy. Oh, where you at? Where you at? Oh, at least I got that guy. Where is he yet? Oh, he's right there. Oh, bro. <laughs> the HitPaw screen recorder is just $9.99 a month currently, and you can get that as well as the HitPaw video editor for $49.95 yearly, or with the addition of a HitPaw video converter for only $45.95, saving a whole 30% when you get one of these creator bundles. If you or a friend are thinking of getting into the creator space, check out the HitPaw screen recorder in the description and comment section down below. Another thanks to HitPaw for sponsoring this video. All right, everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. We got some really cool tips and tricks on this device that we are about to get into right now. And uh, let's go ahead and start that off. So the first tip that we're gonna be showing you on here has to be the calculator. Now this is going to have to do with the stylus and utilizing the stylus. But when you open up the stylus, Right here, there's something called My Script Calculator. Go ahead and click on that. And uh, you guys can literally draw whatever math equation you want on here and it's gonna solve it automatically. I thought it was pretty cool. So, you know, four plus four right here. It's gonna go and write that out for you. And you can do even, obviously, harder problems, 88 times 88. Just really cool calculator right here. Really cool way to uh, do math and it's really cool that we, uh, have a stylus feature like that. Next tip is going to be our scrolling screenshot. So all you have to do is go ahead and take a screenshot and we have this thing called scroll. Go ahead and click on it and it's going to scroll for you or you guys can just scroll automatically and however much you want inside of the screenshot, let's say we cut it off right there, click done. That is what's going to be shown in the screenshot. So I thought that was a really cool feature. Next, this is a uh, big feature for a lot of those people who are always on their TV and that's our screen casting feature. Now, if you go to your drop down bar menu and go ahead and scroll over here to the right, we do have a casting option. All you have to do is go ahead and click on cast and turn on your Wi-Fi. and all of the TVs that are connected or in the range you guys can go ahead and connect to. The Wi-Fi on the other TV is going to have to be the same Wi-Fi that you're connected to on this phone before you connect to it, so make sure you go ahead and do that. Uh, but I thought that was a really cool feature and it works flawlessly on here. It works really, really well. Our next tip is going to be in settings. So we're gonna scroll down and it's going to be called Next Vision. Now this is really cool because you can customize uh, the screen a ton. So we have a bunch of different things right here. We have image enhancement video enhancement, which I would turn on, game enhancement, uh, and it improves the detail, the contrast, the color, and the depths of everything, so you guys can go ahead and try those out. We also have something called reading mode, we have eye comfort mode, darker display mode, and we have the sunlight display, which I have on, so we can go ahead and read better in the sunlight, and we also have our color mode and temperature, so you guys can go ahead and actually customize this to your liking, so I thought that was really cool using the RGB right here. Our next tip is going to be the off-screen memos. Now, this is a feature that's really big on Samsung devices and some other devices that feature a stylus. But if you go ahead and pop the stylus out of your TCL Stylus 5G, we get a little memo notepad right here and we can start 
writing so if you guys take notes frequently this may be an option for you yeah that's a really cool feature to go ahead and just pop that out and take a note down really quick our next tip is going to be a little bit different. Uh, it's not going to have to do with the stylus, but it is going to have to do with the privacy of your phone. So there's actually something in here called app lock. If you guys go ahead and look it up on here, app lock, and you guys can actually choose. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my code real quick, but you guys can go ahead and choose the applications you would like to put a lock on. So I put it on calendar, Google Play Store, Temper Run 2, and we are going to go ahead and search up our calendar. So let's go ahead and type in calendar, boom. And then it asks us for a pin or your fingerprint sensor. And we are in. And we also have our game box as well. And that's going to be pretty much the same thing, but this is the next tip, but we have something called game box right here. And uh, you guys can actually go ahead and hide games inside of that box. So if you swipe up, and you click on TCL, click on game box. Our games are going to be hidden in here. And we have some other features as well in here. So we have mini notifications uh, instead of the main big ones. Uh, so it doesn't interrupt your gaming. We also have optimized network. We have our next vision. And we also have game turbo. So that actually enhances the gameplay uh, on whatever game you're playing. So that's a really cool option right there. Our next tip is going to have to do with home settings. So if you go ahead and hold on the screen, we actually have a bunch of different settings, but one of them is called home settings. Now we have some options right here. We can change the home screen grid, uh, the screen style, uh, but we also have things like fill empty cells. So automatically fill empty cells when apps are moved. Um, Google feed so swipe right from our home screen to access our Google feed so if you guys are into constantly looking at the news I don't recommend it but if you guys are constantly looking at the news go ahead and swipe right and that is going to be the news that's pretty much catered towards you know whatever you watch or whatever you look at on the internet our next tip is gonna have to do with the stylus so we're gonna pop out that stylus just one more time and we are going to go to the area screenshot. Where is this at? So our area screenshot is right here when you guys pop out the stylus. And this is a really cool one because it doesn't take a full screenshot of whatever you're looking at. Uh, it lets you go ahead and measure and be precise about what you're taking a screenshot of. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, this is definitely one of the tools I use the most. So all you have to do is go ahead and size it to what you want. Go ahead and click the check mark and it's going to save at that size, that little itty bitty size. So that's really cool. If you guys want to be precise with your screenshots, always a really nice tip. And the last feature has to do with themes. And I think a lot of people don't even know about this, but if you hold on the screen again, go ahead and click on themes. We have some actually really, really premium themes on here. So we have obviously our round style. We have our square style and we have our freestyle right here. We're going to go ahead and try out the square style, but let's go ahead and apply. And these are in-house as well. So that's that's why I like this a lot. Uh, it says apply this theme. Some apps may close and unsaved data may be lost. Go ahead and apply. And as you guys see, if you want to refresh new look on the device that you've been using, that is a thing that you can change on here. So set us with a new wallpaper as well, which is pretty cool. It's like a little mountain range. Um, definitely something to look into if you guys want to get a uh, more fresh look to your phone if you're getting a little too bored of it we also have that freestyle nice looking freestyle right there uh, but let me know in the comment section down below if these tips have helped you um, hopefully this video was valuable to you and hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day but this has been Safan from TechRite peace out teching